Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here, man. I'm back at y'all with another video. This one right here, though, is by special request. I um I had a viewer that basically saw my uh, video on how to export stems out of Fruity Loops, and he basically wanted to know how do you import stems into Fruity Loops and also change the tempo of those stems without it affecting the pitch or the timing of, you know, the stems or whatever. So this is basically how you do it. Uh, the first thing that you want to do before anything is you want to set the tempo to whatever the BPM, the original BPM, you know what I mean? In this example, I'm going to use um, 170. The, the, the stems that I have, the BPM is 170. So, all right. So once I got that in, I'm going to go to my window. I'm, I'm using the shortcut um, command tab if you're, if you're using a Mac to navigate you know, through all of my different windows. I got, you know, a few things open right now. But um, let's go with the finder right now. Um, these are the stems that we're going to use. I already have them highlighted. So basically what you do is once you highlight them all, pardon, once you highlight them all, drag and drop them right into the, right into it. So that's how you import it, right? So now that you got them in there, you want to highlight them all inside of the program and just drag it over to the window. Make sure it's all the way at the beginning. And while we while we at it, let's make sure that we have um the bar snap setting on. That that way it'll keep you, you know, in line with, you know, each individual bar. So once we got that, this is the this is the other important part. Like, and it, and it's kind of tedious, but um, you know, once you once you get it, you got it. If it doesn't already import, um, with the uh, with the with the time stretched already on, you're gonna have to do it manually. So you go to each one of the tracks, and if you guys know a way to do this all at the same time, like all of the tracks at once, um, comment below and, uh, you know, let me know. Cause, um, you know, say like, if you got like a 50 track, you know, session that you're trying to mix in, um, in, in FL studio, it, it's going to, it's going to take a lot of time, you know, going into these individual tracks and changing this one setting. Um, but once you do it though, you ready. You know what I mean? So, basically you just go through each individual one. That is, unless you know a faster way. And once you're done with them, you hit play to test to see if everything is going good. So we're going to hit the space bar. And, oh yeah, make sure it's in song mode as well. Turn the metronome off. Okay, so everything is in there. It's all good. So let's start it back at the beginning. Now, watch as I move this. Oh, this is another important thing. When you, after you turn on the, um, the, the the stretch option on on um, on each of the individual tracks. You want to make sure this little button right here is is highlighted. Like you want to make sure that little dot is in there, because because what that's gonna do that's gonna activate the time scaling feature. So I had it at one seventy. It's one eighty three now. See, it's faster now. And the pitch hasn't been affected. Still the same pitch. I'm gonna speed it up while, while I'm playing it. So 
So yeah, man, that's basically how you do that, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay on point with everything Apex Music and Media. Follow us on Instagram at Apex Music and Media. Follow my uh, Instagram at Frank Dutch Music. Um, I also got a sneaker page too. You know what I'm saying? That I'm <laughs> that I'm lightweight promoting. It's called uh, the Sneaker Peeper. Peeker. <laughs> the sneaker peeper <laughs> i'll have i'll have all the links below you know what i'm saying but um yeah man it's your man frank dutch right here man y'all be cool man thank you for watching